Hey, what's up, Ranger fans? This is Daddy Louie here, rocking my new hat. Hope everybody likes it. It's very shiny. I like it a lot. <laughs> um, so if you are not familiar with me, I am uh, Daddy Louie. I am a member of the Circle of Nerds. You can find all my content over on YouTube.com slash Circle of Nerds. Please go over there and subscribe. It means the world to me that you do. Um, if you want to see more from me on social media, I'm also at Circle of Nerds on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, thank you, as always, to Renegade for having me on stream today. My background's kind of dark. That's weird. I don't know why it's so dark. Maybe it's because my hat is so blingy. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Uh, so today, like the uh, intro explained, uh, we are painting blue uh, in space ranger. Uh, Power Rangers in space blue um yeah so without further ado let's go down to the table here to get a good look at what we're what we're doing um so i got all the paints ready to go already um the model itself is really really nice um it is going to be challenging uh because this blaster here is so close to the chest piece but uh that's all right we'll make do um, uh, yeah, but it should be a lot of fun. I got all my paints and stuff over here off to the side already. So hopefully I won't have to do any digging. Uh, the blue that we're going to use primarily is this, uh, Kalidor Sky as my base. Um, AJ says, welcome AJ. Yep, new hat like that. Look at how blingy that is. Woo, boy. I got another one too, so I have three hats now. Did you hear about the man who only collected rare pennies? He didn't have a lot of <laughs> Uh Well, thank you for that uh, joke. I like that. That's pretty fun, actually. <laughs> I heard a similar, not a similar joke, uh, but there was a, it was a, uh, it was more like a riddle involving pennies and it went like this it went um who uh let's see johnny's johnny's mom has three kids uh penny what is it penny nick nickel and who's the last one i think that's how it goes you have to show like a penny and nickel and a quarter that's the uh of course, I don't have that in front of me, so it's not going to be very funny. And I'm sure someone in the chat will know what it is right away. Uh, anyway, thanks everybody for being here today on this wonderful Monday evening. Evening for me, afternoon for some. Hope everybody enjoyed uh, the Morph and Meat uh, convention this weekend. If you were able to see my... Uh, my little workshop that's cool i'm glad i was glad to have you uh so for this model here uh boots gloves and the shoulders are all white so we're gonna try our best to leave them white as well as the belt you do what you know the answer to my riddle Uh, this is a really nice blue color. Uh, it's one of my favorite blues that uh, Games Workshop puts out, um, so that's why I'm using it. Uh, some of the other ones just tend to be a little too dark. I want it to be as vibrant of a blue as possible. Uh, and this this hits the mark for me there. Uh, how was everybody's weekend? Hope everybody enjoyed. If you didn't get to go to Morph and Meet, I hope you were off doing something really fun. Um, I sat in on a few Morph and Meet things myself, and yesterday I did a tremendous amount of yard work. <laughs> Good 
because the leaves are falling. Also took some time off on Saturday just to kind of do my own thing. Uh, wife and kids were gone, so I had house to myself, and I just relaxed. I needed some some breathing time, so that was a lot of fun, actually. Just getting to unwind and do nothing. Uh, so the In Space Rangers also have this white strip across their chest uh, on the front. There's five squares. Each square has a color of one of the five rangers in it. So uh, we're going to try our best to avoid getting white in there too. I'm okay uh, being a little sloppy here just because of time. I'm going to have to go over the parts I messed up on with with white anyway so that's what we're doing Trying to figure out who we should work on next week, assuming we get this guy done. It's kaboom time, huh? I'll have to ask Terry. I know that they asked me to just stick with Rangers and Psycho for the first couple weeks. But that was about three weeks ago, so I will uh, I'll have to message her and ask her if I can do the week boom. If not, uh, another good suggestion that I, or another good idea that I had uh, this weekend while I was doing the, um, while I was doing the workshop was, um, um, to paint the, try and do a speed painting or a batch painting of the, uh, of the foot soldiers that come in this box. So we'll see. But Kaboom does sound more fun. <laughs> Every time I uh, I hear Louis Kaboom's name, I think of um, Keanu Reeves' character in the latest Toy Story. Because um, his last name was Kaboom, too. I can't remember his first name. He was like a... I think he was like a Canadian stunt man. What was his name? Oh, I can't remember. I watched that movie not that long ago. Oh, you're missing out. It's really good. I would say it's close to on par with the original. Um, I would still put the original as the best, um, but Toy Story 4 is definitely second best.
Duke Kaboom. Thank you, Kay. Duke Kaboom. He just nailed that part, too. Like, so good. Duke Kaboom. I wish GW would make this paint in a spray. Yeah, I didn't think I'd really like Keanu Reeves in a Toy Story movie either, but he, he really nailed the part. But, I mean, the, the, uh, the stealers of the show, the thieves of the show were totally forky for the first half of the movie and the chick and the bunny for the second half of the movie. Um I'm pretty sure K and Peel do the voice of the chick and the and the and the bunny and they're hilarious. And then Forky was just great. And I didn't think I'd like Forky either like but he turned out to be great. <laughs> yeah, for anybody that hasn't seen it, if it's on your, you know, must-watch list, move it to the top. It's worth it. switch brushes here in a minute. It's weird when you have a brush when sometimes when you paint with it, it splits real bad. And then other times you paint with it, it doesn't split at all. It's like I've been wanting to replace this particular brush that I'm using right now for a while. Um, and then I just forget about doing it because I'll paint with it every now and then and it'll work fine. I don't know if it's the paints that are doing it. I don't know. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really, uh, really bad split. So I'm going to switch to one of my new Raphael brushes. Hey Shago, welcome. Yeah, I don't know if it's the if it's the particular paint I'm using that day or I don't know, cuz I don't clean my brushes as much as I should. So I can't even like contribute it to that. Uh, so for in space rangers admittedly I know nothing about 
um, Power Rangers in space because I have not seen a single episode of the show. I'm only familiar with them from uh, the comics. Uh, they have this weird dome on the top of their helmet, so... Well, no, I've heard really, really good things about it. Um, I've heard that it ranks up there as one of the better Power Ranger shows that there are. Um, it's mostly just timing. Like, by the time it came out, um, I personally was out of my Power Ranger phase. Um, like, going into adulthood, but when my kids started watching it and I kind of got back into it um we were like well past it in the line of shows so just not something that I have uh, gotten caught up on yet Despite having spaceships, the Sentai Mega Ranger, which in space was based on, was actually about electronics and cell phones. Hmm. Interesting. So what is the dome on the top of their helmets supposed to be? Is it supposed to be, like, just another window for them to see out of? I mean, they're not, like, astronauts, right? They can't, like, walk outside in space in their suits? Or can they? That would actually make sense if they could. Looking at a picture, that's why I'm turning my head. I got my other monitor on. Space and Power Rangers is weird. They can go outside in their suits and in Lost Galaxy, someone was just in normal clothes in space. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> then again, it is Power Rangers, so it's not like, you know, they apply the little rules of logic.
Well, that's cool if it's an LCD screen. On all the screenshots I looked, it just looked black, like it was almost like a lens, uh, like the visor, but I could see it being like a computerized. I do see another picture up on my screen where it almost looks more like a computer screen rather than a window. to clean my palette off. Holy moly. I did a lot of painting this weekend, so. Yeah, Dino Thunder is super exciting. I'm excited for that as well. Honestly, I would be okay with a smaller, just three-pack box with just the original three. One thing that I noticed when I was looking at pictures of In Space, um, there looked to be like a sixth In Space Ranger. Is that true? And if so, I wonder why that wasn't included in this box. He seemed like silver or white from the pictures I was seeing. Right now I'm just second coating the, um, yeah, so there's a silver, so I wonder why that wasn't included. Just reinforcing some of my blue. It was a little transparent in some spots.
I mean, there's lots of shows throughout the throughout the life of Power Rangers that have like that sixth ranger that comes in mid series. I could totally see them doing a box of just characters from different series that included, you know, those sixth rangers. Kind of like a Tommy box, but obviously they're not all Tommy, so. But something similar to, like, the Ranger Ally pack and all that. If that makes sense.
definitely a challenge. Washes make all the difference in the world when painting. Some expert painters call it like the easy button. Cause it's just it just makes painting so much easier. Another thing that a wash will do that a lot of people don't realize is it's going to show you details that you didn't notice at first. Um, especially beginners. Because once you put that wash on the model and it fills in all the, cr all the cracks, um, it's just going to make some of those details really pop out, which is cool. That looks pretty good. Uh, all right, let's go into black. This brush is becoming one of my new favorites. I wasn't too sure about it at first, but I don't know if it's just because it's new or if it's just that nice of a brush. I need to wash it so I can take, make sure I take care of it. For black, we're just gonna use Vallejo Model Color Black. Um, I honestly have no preference. Um, I don't care for the Scale 75 Black uh, because it's very matte. So, and especially for something like this where I'm coloring like a visor and something I want to have a little sheen to it. I'm not saying it has to be glossy, but just a little sheen to it. Thank you. 
So Shag, you said you uh, you don't know much about painting. Have you painted any of your models? Alright, let's see, that's, uh, so the last thing of black that we need to do is a little square on the white strip on his chest. So according to the, uh, according to what I'm looking at, uh, for reference, it goes, um, from right arm to left arm, it goes black, yellow, red, pink blue so black would be this square right here which did a horrible little black square didn't I Those squares are one of those design choices. Yeah, they really are. Holy moly, like, what was the point? Um, okay. So I guess I could have done the last one in blue. While I was with blue. Again, these, these little squares are tough because this weapon 
is so close to the chest. Doesn't look too bad. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm just looking to make sure that the blue is where I want the blue. Trying to make sure that my blue is really strong color uh, before I put the wash on just because it's going to make it uh... no the the squares don't look bad on the uniform as a matter of fact it's one of the cooler looking Power Ranger uniforms like you said it just doesn't really make a lot of sense all right uh, let's switch over to our silvers Totally just put my finger all over wet paint. A funny bit of trivia. So there's been a few American-made Ranger suits. The Titanium Ranger, Jungle Fury, Spirit Ranger, SPD's A Squad. The first four have really nice suits. The A Squad. Really? I have not. Um, I guess I'll need to look up a picture of the A Squad.
Honestly, out of all those ones you mentioned, I've never even heard of A Squad. Like, I've heard of, you know, Jungle Fury, I've heard of SPD. I've never actually heard of A Squad. Which, I mean, I realize I'm not the most knowledgeable, but it's weird that I've never even heard of them. That's all the silver, just on the blaster and on the face. Okay. Now we get to move on to yellow, my favorite color. Not. Oh, A Squad is from SPD. Got it. Oh, I see what you mean. Um, so the squares on the chest, like I said, they go black, yellow, red, and pink. Uh, luckily for me, the yellow is completely... Uh, covered up by the hand on the blaster so I don't have to paint that so the only thing we need the yellow for is for the v-neck basically which is going to be whew, tough so pardon my um, lack of talking while I take my time A is, um, not A, that's not A. Um, yellow is a very difficult color to work with. So. So it's best if I, um, because it's a difficult color, it's, uh, it's best that I try and get it as perfect as possible the first time around so that I don't have to mess with it. What makes yellow difficult? That's a good question. I think because it's so bright, uh, people who, like the companies that make the paint, have to make them more, I don't know, transparent? I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just because the color is such a naturally light color. It makes it transparent. You can just see everything underneath. So you've really got to do multiple coats. To get the color that you want. Knock on wood, so far we're doing good.
Uh, actually, it'll be worse for space yellow because the whole model has to be yellow. So, I mean, you're talking about multiple, multiple coats of a uh, of a base yellow, and then if you want to highlight, multiple coats of the highlight as well. The only yellow ranger that I've painted so far in the game is Trini, and uh, yeah, that was not fun. As well as the uh, Sabertooth Tiger on the uh, Megazord, that was not fun either. <laughs> Actually, that was less fun than Trini because um, there's so many flat surfaces, so getting the paint to not be runny and streaky pain. But we did pretty good on this. Pretty happy with it. All right, uh, so the last thing that we need, oh no, second to last thing. Uh, so let's get the rest of our colors, so we got red and pink for the little squares I'm definitely taking this palette upstairs after I get done with this stream and uh, putting a new paper on it because it is just terrible uh, so red is next Chalky. All right, let's see. That is just so tight. It's so hard to get in there. Holy moly. The weapon is just so close to the chest. It's crazy. But it's like if you don't paint it in and like you move like and it's on the it'll just look weird if it's just a white strip. Sorry, right. I think I can clean it up with the white. Um, and then we'll get the pink on there first before I do the white. Silvers are all green. Well, at least that'll be a little easier to paint. I won't have to get so many colors. It just stinks that I'm having to use, you know, colors that aren't already on my palette for one little tiny dot, basically. It's kind of a waste of paint, but here we are. Well, that looks more like a square than what the red I did. <laughs> and I know you can't really see this on the stream, but I promise you they don't look like squares. Actually, that one doesn't look too bad. 
the red looks like I just took the took a marker and made a squiggly line. Alright, let's see if I can fix it. It doesn't look too shabby. Not too bad. Are the squares molded details? Yes, they are. So you can really just kind of like, if you get the right amount of paint on your brush, you can almost just set the paint in there and just let it spread into the little square. Um, but, uh, all right, so last color now is gold. And this is for the belt buckle and a couple details on the um, on the blaster. I guess that's the only detail. I noticed that there's some red on there too, but I'm gonna do the red after the um, after the wash. So that's uh, that's him pretty much done. Looks pretty good. And I say pretty much done, as in pre pre wash pre highlighting. All right, so wash, black wash, null oil, letting that gold dry for a second because I do not want to get that all over the model.
I need to make sure when I'm using this wash uh, that I don't let it set in those squares and ruin my color and have to do that crap all over again. Because that would stink. Right now I'm just blotting the uh, spots where it's like settling really bad. Soaking up some of the access. <laughs> Alright. We will let that dry for a few minutes. Does anyone have any questions while we wait for this to dry? Uh, now is a good time because um, can't do much while we let that dry. What do you think next year's big box set will be? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, hmm. I don't know. Turbo, maybe? I mean, we already have Tani. Turbo was really popular, though. I'm trying to think of, like, what the most popular shows were. And most deserving of big box sets. Then again, they pull a lot of stuff from the comics. Um, you know, with Shattered Grid and and the uh, and the Psycho Rangers. <clears throat>
I personally would like to see Mystic Force. I think that's one of my favorites. Um, the costumes are really, really cool. RPM was okay. Time Force would be a good one, too. Um, and they could easily do Time Force and give us a different sculpt for Time Force Pink. I should get a fan down here. Dry clicker. I can hold it in front of the fan. Um, the foot soldier marathon was pretty good. It ended up being a lot more instructional than productive. So um, I pre-painted three, uh, one of each of the putties. Uh, so I had 60 left, and I only got 12 done, um, which doesn't seem like a lot in 90 minutes, but the chat was super engaged, which was great. So I spent a lot of time talking and asking questions um, and uh, giving a lot of instructions. So... I think that if I was literally painting, not talking, not looking, and I was using that method, I could have gotten a lot more done. Um, the hardest part of any speed painting or batch painting is the wash because it has to dry, and it's unpredictable how long it takes to dry. So in this case, I started with one model, and by the time I had gotten finished with the 12th model to go back to the first model, the first model was barely dry. And then by the time I got halfway through that first batch, the last six were still sopping wet. So I just went back to the first again, and it just took, it was taking a long time for the washes to dry. Um, and I wanted to get actual instruction done so that people knew what they needed to do for each of the, uh, each of the putties. Uh, but I think they turned out pretty good, and we had a really good uh, turnout. I mean... We had about 40 to 45 people in the, uh, in the, um, in the room for the most part. Hey, Atomic. Welcome. It's all right that you're late. We're, right now we're letting the wash dry on this guy. Uh, should be done in just a minute. Then I can start, uh, doing some highlighting and stuff. Glad that you got to see the morphin meat. Pick any ranger and or monster to paint up. What and who would it be? Um, any ranger or any monster like in all of Power Rangers? Um, it's going to sound super cheesy. Uh, but I'm really excited to paint Louie Kaboom. Because my name is Louie. <laughs> Uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun to paint, and I know that it's coming, so that kind of, like, is a cheat, because I, I know I'm going to get to paint it. Um, so something that's currently not in the game, monster or ranger-wise, I think I would have to say, hmm, I would like a model for the dragon zord the green dragon zord and i would like to paint a model of the green dragon zord uh realistically that's probably not going to happen uh because it sounds like they're not going to be doing too many more uh big models uh since they're not really usable in the game uh maybe more villains and stuff uh so uh mystic force is it Mystic Force White or Mystic Force Silver? I can't remember if they labeled it as white or silver. Uh, but the female with the really cool uniform and the staff, um, I'm really, I think that that would be really white. Yeah, so Mystic Force White uh, is probably the realistic one that I would like to see in the game so that I can paint. 
But if I could have anything that I want, uh, I would choose uh, the Dragon Zord because uh, Green Ranger, Mighty Morphin Green, is my favorite Ranger of all time. And since I've already got three models of him <laughs> to paint, I would really like his Zord. Uh, Dragon Shield SPD Green would be cool. I just, I really, really loved painting the uh, Mighty Morphin Megazord. And so I just want more stuff like that. And Goldar does not count because that's just a lot of gold. Out of current pre-order campaign, who are you looking forward to painting the most? Uh, current pre-order campaign. Uh, probably Squat and Babu. Um, uh, I'm looking forward to painting the new Alpha too, uh, because I really liked painting um, the current alpha that we have, uh, he was a lot of fun because I got to put some techniques in play that I'd not really used before to make, like, his visor look like it was lit, in, lit up, um, so I'm excited to be able to do that. Of course, when I was painting all those old things, I didn't get to paint it on stream because I wasn't painting for Renegade at the time. So I'm really excited to be able to paint, you know, all the uh, original rangers for you guys, because uh, all mine are already painted. So I can't, can't repaint those. Um, so I'm just excited to be able to have uh, some of the original release stuff. Uh, obviously, new sculpts, but uh, some of the original release stuff to paint on stream for everybody. But I would say Squat and Babu personally, um, and then Alpha. It'll just be cool to show new people techniques and stuff for the original Rangers. 
And since there's so many Mighty Morphin Rangers in the game now, uh, once you, you know, have a system down for doing, like, the diamonds around the boots and stuff like that, it makes doing all of them significantly easier. So it'll just be great to show people that on stream. I did not think about this very well at all. Bit of a noob when it comes to painting just wondering why you painted white then wash over and then repeating the white or is the white under the wash from the primer yeah the white under the wash is from the primer um is more of an off-white this is um a brighter color so it's just making that stuff pop um it just makes painting the model a little easier because you can um It kind of shows you like where some of those uh, some of the crevices and the recesses go. You could, um, if you wanted to, you could paint everything white first, and then not put the wash over it and put the wash just in certain spots. Um, I am not a big fan of what I call selective washing, which is where you put. Um, wash only in spots that you want it so like right here where i'm painting uh this line around the boot um selective wash i would just put a little bit of wash on the uh on my brush and i would run it in this crease right here um it's really slow uh the painting process is really slow when you're having to put wash in every crevice as opposed to just dipping the whole model in it basically uh, it makes painting the model slow, and um, I enjoy the uh, highlighting process of the uh, of the model more than the washing process. So I just want to get the wash done as quickly as possible. So I I personally just prefer to just slap wash on the whole model, let it sit, and then move on from there. But both ways are acceptable. Last year it was pumpkin, it had something to do with pumpkin wrapper, didn't it? A 
I'm so far behind on the free scenarios. Like, I think I've only played like three of them, maybe. Maybe only two, actually. That was one of them, though. Yeah, the Halloween one last year. It was one of the first ones. That was the... It's one of the two or three free scenarios that I've done so far. Thanks, Bex. I sure hope so. I don't think we'll see any more, or at least not too many more, um, like Zord models just because they don't have like the model itself has no purpose in the game um, and because you know Renegade is coming out with that pre-painted Megazord it just makes me feel like they're moving away from having that style of model in the game uh, which stinks because I really enjoyed painting them but at the same time like you know, if their sales for those particular separate models aren't good, then, you know, it makes sense for them to drop having them. I mean, I don't know why anybody would want to use a token instead of an actual model, but who knows? Maybe there's people that do. Yeah, Mystic is one that I'm really uh, excited for in the future, too. I just think they have some of the coolest looking uniforms, which 
leads to some of the most fun painting. Yeah, I completely understand the whole Mighty Morphin, um, you know, burnout. Uh, because, you know, there's a lot of other fan favorites out there. Um, which is honestly why I was really shocked when they announced um, the alt sculpts, uh, sculpts for Mighty Morphin already. That seemed to me a bit hasty but I mean maybe there was a demand that I just wasn't seeing for it um, which is not to say the game doesn't need them or warrant having them it just seemed quick seemed a little too soon so many other things that they could have released uh, this is not my Kickstarter set uh, Renegade sent this to me so that I could paint it on stream mine uh, as a matter of fact I got an email today uh, from the the Kickstarter or whatever asking me to reconfirm my address because it was coming soon, so. That must mean it's close. <laughs> Honestly, the most exciting thing about that that I'm mo most excited about is the card box so that I can finally organize my cards properly. I mean, the new models and stuff are cool too. Obviously, but I'm not playing right now because of COVID, so <laughs> the most exciting thing to me is just being able to organize my cards. Are we going to get an unboxing video? I could totally do that. I think the alt Mighty Morphin Rangers and some of the stuff we're seeing in the fan appreciation kit, like the Power Vaster Ultra Zoe is a way of saying that they're moving away from Mighty Morphin. Hmm. That's, um... That's an interesting thought. I hadn't thought about it that way. Like I hear, come get it while you can because you're not going to be able to get it for a while kind of thing. I was looking at it in a completely different light, but that kind of makes sense.
Um, it 100% depends on the model, what I prime with. This model was primed with GW's Wraithbone. Um, it also depends on the weather in my area. I won't use a cheap primer if uh, the weather is not, um, you know, pretty much perfect. Um, because humidity, um, heat, cold, all those things can really affect your surface and what you are painting on. And cheap primer tends to be affected more by the elements and the weather than expensive primer. So, uh, if the weather's not nice, I'll always use an expensive primer. Um, and then it, it depends on if I'm painting for me, if I'm painting for someone else, if I'm uh, painting for the stream, etc. So, it's, it's kind of a complicated answer. I would say that the majority of the time I paint with um, a GW primer in this case Wraithbone, um, I use that more than anything else. Um, but um, this weekend I did some priming with Rust-Oleum primer too. So again, it really, it really depends. Oh no, I got blue. I got white on my blue. Damn. Do you have problems with base bind using the clamp? Uh, base bend, I think you mean. Nope, no problems. Uh, you can kind of see here that the base is kind of bending a little bit. This is probably not, I probably shouldn't use this base, but as soon as I take it off, it'll bend right back. I've never, ha I haven't had an issue yet.
and that uh, this uh, thing on the chest has just been my nightmare today. Yeah, I did. I did paint them all different colors. That was uh, an interesting step. <laughs> yeah, painting those squares was not fun. <laughs> Definitely go back and rewatch it. I had to hold my breath a lot. Alright, back to my blue. I don't know if I can get all of the blue highlighted. We'll see. I'll start from the top and work my way down that way. In case I don't finish. At least it'll look.
How long have I been painting? Um, I started painting really like I, I guess I've always like been interested in it ever since the very first time I saw a games workshop store in my local mall back when I was like in high school. Um, but I would say I started seriously painting um like trying to get better and painting different models not just throwing one color like on a space marine and calling it good um about five years ago 2015 um probably closer to six years uh now so not long. I'm going to get my very first model out that I ever painted. Next time I have stream, I'm going to have it on my desk so I can show you guys um, <laughs> how I like what my very first model looks like. All these rangers got six packs, man. You ever notice that? Like, if you ever look the ranger, uh, the ranger models, they're all they're all freaking jacked. <laughs> That's true. Bulk and skull are not jacked. They were a lot of fun to paint. I want to get another set to paint on stream. 
because they were they were a ton of fun to paint and I get requests for them a lot. Yes, for the highlighting, I'm avoiding the uh, the deep recesses. And that's why I like to, that's another reason that I like to uh, do the whole model in, um, in a wash as opposed to selective washing because if you do the whole model, you're not going to miss any, uh, any of the recesses. But if you pick and choose where you want the wash to go, choices, chances are you're going to miss some of those spots that you wanted to be dark. Um, like up here on the, on the shoulder, there's like a line right there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I wouldn't have known to put wash there if I was selectively choosing where the wash goes. And you might be asking yourself, why haven't you done the back yet? That's because I'm just trying to get the front done to show you guys. <laughs> I am doing it intentionally, I promise. I'm not uh, just forgetting. Because we're getting uh, close to the end here. So if anybody has any questions, now is the time. Although I may go a couple minutes past. Um, I don't know what I'm going to paint next week, actually. Uh, some folks want me to paint Louis Kaboom, um, which uh, I may try and do. I've got to, uh, I've got to talk to Terry and see if, uh, see if they're okay with that. Because when they sent these out, they, uh, they sent these out to a few of us. I'm not the only one that got one because there's, uh, Renegade has more than just me as far as painters go. Um, so I don't, I obviously don't want to paint something that another painter is going to be painting. So, so we'll have to stay tuned.
is there anything specific you want to see painted next week? Looks pretty cool, guys. <laughs> uh, I don't have anything in here that you guys don't know about yet. I hear all the news the same time you guys do. that base dry for a second and um he's all good set and ready for the table obviously um you know if i had a few more minutes i would do the same to the back that i did to the front you can kind of see how it's a lot uh darker on the back uh, but that's all right Uh, probably would highlight the yellow as well um, just to brighten it up with the rest of it and maybe even get some of this uh, even brighter blue and do some more highlights but maybe not it might just be that right there so uh, anyway this is the end of my time uh, if you are not familiar with me or you're just joining, uh, please go and subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash circle of nerds, one word. Uh, that is uh, really appreciative. Uh, I'm really appreciative of you doing that. Uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, and next week, I don't know what we're painting, but it'll be something cool, I promise. Um, and uh, yeah, as always, thank you to Renegade for having me on the stream. Uh, and thank you to everybody who joined me in the chat and gave me some more Power Ranger knowledge. You guys are just super awesome. And uh, there's nowhere else I would rather be on this Monday afternoon slash evening. So uh, enjoy your week. Be safe. Take care of each other. And remember to play your games. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>